This next feature that I'm going to show you for me is worth upgrading most of my clients up to advanced, and that is the spreadsheet sync. What this allows you to do is connect your QuickBooks Online Advanced to Excel so that you can manipulate the data in a grid. For example, you could export your P&L into Excel and then manipulate it. You know, maybe you want to move some things around. Maybe you want to make some charts of it. Maybe you want to add some calculations. Maybe you want to do some formatting. And then you can save the spreadsheet and it will maintain a live synchronization so you can go get your current numbers and see them from time to time. So that's a really cool uh, way of using it. Something else that it does the other thing that it will allow you to do is to modify your data by using a grid. So if you ever have a lot of things you need to modify, sometimes opening them up and editing it and then saving it and opening the next thing and editing it and saving it and opening the next thing and editing it and saving it gets really tedious. So being able to see it all in a grid, being able to use Excel's autofill handle to copy some data down or do calculations on your numbers and then update the results can be really handy. And so as a data the geek myself. I absolutely love it. The way Spreadsheet Sync works is that it actually creates a live connection with your Excel. If you're using um, Excel on a Mac, it will ask to leverage Excel online. But then once you're connected, you're totally connected. And then, like I said, what it will do is import, it'll make that connection between your Excel and your QuickBooks. The way it does it is by leveraging an add-in. And if you have, if you have any experience with Excel, you've probably had other third-party softwares or other tools that don't come with your default built-in Excel that you can add in when you have additional data uh, manipulation that you want to do. So there is some one-time connections of installing the add-in. And then every time you use it, you do need to connect directly to your company. And the interface for that's going to look very similar because it's exactly like adding any third-party app to your QuickBooks. So let's go ahead and actually see how this works. So it's not going to work in the sample file. I'm actually going to head over to another uh, sample file, and this is another fake file. And what I'm going to do here is go up to the gear and then go down to Spreadsheet Sync right there. And so it gives us some steps. We're going to open a link. We're going to trust the add-in, and then we're going to sign in. So let's go. My browser is asking me, do I want to open up Excel? And I do. So we'll give it a second. Excel opened up with an instruction to launch the add-in. Now, the first time it'll ask you if you want to install the add-in, and I've already been through that process, so you're not seeing it here. But what you do see is on the far right, there's a new button up in my home ribbon for Spreadsheet Sync. And so I'll go ahead and click on that. And the next thing it'll do is open up a pane on the right-hand side. And I will go ahead and sign in. And this is just like signing into your QuickBooks. Once it makes the connection, it wants to know what company to install for. You want to make sure that you are installing into the right one. What you see here on mine is because I'm an accountant user, so it's asking, do I want to do it for my company or one of my clients? Typically, if you're just a straight-up QuickBooks Online Advanced user, you don't see this at all. It'll just log you in and you're up and running. So it says, welcome, and I will go ahead and get started. As I said, there's two different modes or purposes. One is building reports that you can then save and then refresh with your latest data. I actually myself like to use it for managing records. So that's the one way I'm going to show it off. I don't have time to do all of them. So the first thing it wants to know is what is it that I want to create or edit? And you know, maybe it's my chart of accounts. Maybe it's my items. I'm going to do my chart of accounts. And then... I have multiple companies connected, so it's asking me which one is the one that I want. Then it asks, do you want to bring in your data? And I do. So I'll click that little slider right there. I'll go ahead and say OK. And now it's actually importing my actual chart of accounts from my file. So now I can see the names of my accounts, their account types, the detail type, descriptions, whether they're sub accounts, all kinds of information about it. The first column is about posting. And so that's where you specify, I do 
confirm, confirmed want you to make that change. So let's do a couple different things here. Let's say I wanted to add in an account. Then what I would do to add in that account is head down to the bottom. So I'll go to the beginning of my next row and I'll say, yes, I want to add in to this company, a new one that is called, check this out. That way I'll know I need to delete it. And I'll pick from the list what it's for. So this is, I'm going to make it a bank account. So I'll do that. And I'm going to make it a checking account. So I'll type in checking. And if there's other information that I need to put in, I will. So that's actually going to add to my chart of accounts. So it's a very fast way of adding a lot of accounts all at one time. I can also manipulate whether something's in a sub account or not. For example, in this file, there is one called gifts. So here is gifts given. And let's say I wanted to put it in one of my sub accounts. I'd head over to the sub account section right here and type in one of my names. And it is going to pick it off of the list of existing sub accounts that are, or, and it is going to display a list of all of the existing accounts so that I can make a sub. And then once I've made that change, I'll go ahead and tell it that I want this one to update as well. Now, I do want to remind you that this is that good reason why you should back up your file before you do something like this so that if it doesn't go right, you can just roll it back again. So I've made a couple changes. And then what I'll do is click post data to QuickBooks. And it says, are you sure you want to continue? And I'll say yes. And I've had success. So I'll click OK. And then let's head back into the QuickBooks and I'll refresh the screen. And now you're going to see, check this out, my new bank account. And down in my entertainment section of my expenses, I now have gifts given moved under there. So it's really neat that I can make those changes on the fly. So for a company that is in the middle of a cleanup, or has a lot of updates to make, Spreadsheet Sync is an absolutely amazing tool, as it is also when you have reports that you want to manipulate and you don't want to have to start them from scratch every single time.